With one swing of the bat, Rafael Devers. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. All right, just about ready for baseball. And towing the slab here, Chris Sale. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Here is Marcus Simeon. The pitch. That's in there. So we're underway on a day made for baseball the 4th of July. First pitch, 135. Sale delivers. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And sale deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Seeger stands in now. Big time power. He's third in the AL in home runs. And that's in there for strike one. Singy, the Red Sox won the World Series in 2018 in five games. And Chris Sale, normally a starter, ended up coming out of the bullpen. He recorded the final three outs. He struck out the side to finish things off. You and I called that game together. Yes, we did. It was a whole lot of fun. Sale ready. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. One down, base is empty. Good eye right there. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Sale in a one-two. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Now the 0-1. And that's in for a strike. Now this is in the air down the line. Squeezes it, and that's the inning. End of a half inning of play, and now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Back inside Fenway Park and starting in this one, Jacob DeGrom. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. Now it's the DH, Rymel Tapia. Rymel Tapia. And a pitch. That one missed to Grom, a former Cy Young Award winner. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a two-seamer. Swings and misses. That's strike one.
And that's a little bit high. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Runner at first with no outs here. That one inside. Two balls, no strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. He's going. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Zips it to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Here's Alex Verdugo. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Left hand batter waits. There's a strike. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. And he handles it himself for the out. Now it's Devers at the plate. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Tap to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that's the third out. The Red Sox turned away in the first. We played an inning in Boston. No score here on the show. Back here at Fenway, top of the second. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Strike two. Misses inside, and the count one and two. One of the things you see every once in a while with a special talent is a guy who gets to the big league super fast. Chris Sale falls into that category. 13th overall pick in 2010 by the White Sox singing, and he debuted 60 days later at the big league level. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Here's Josh Young. That one back up the middle and it gets through. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Leody Tavares. A switch hitter batting right. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Well, just a freak on the mound, and that delivery, something that people thought would cause injury for him early in his career, didn't. He started experience later on, but uh, no surprise that his favorite player growing up was Randy Johnson. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Calls it in, and there's two away. Yeah. 
now it's Robbie Grossman. The left fielder, number four, Robbie Grossman. Devers they take the force out and that is that so one hit is all they get we go to the bottom of inning number two we're tied nothing nothing and we're back here at Fenway Park ready to go for the last half of the inning here's the center fielder Jaron Duran and the pitch rips that one center field no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down batting six the second baseman so now Turner in on that right side misses oh. off the play and it's one and oh. A little bit oh. low. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Good hitters count the 2-0. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Reese McGuire. He was one for five back on Sunday. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty deals. Oh. One ball, one strike. Just no, missed. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate right here. He's working inside. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. And here it comes. Ground ball left side could be two. Young over to second, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. New inning getting started. Leading now the catcher the for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. Jonah. Sale, oh. a former All-Star. More than 100 career wins on the mound. A former first-round pick back in 2010. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The 0-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. On the ground to the left. Devers throws on to first. And a couple of quick outs. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus. Simeon. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Went down on strikes his first time through. Simeon, in his tenth season, 
hitting leadoff in today's game, and he took home a gold glove in 2021. First offering misses badly for ball one. Nowadays, with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift rules? Top of the third, no score. On the ground, Devers sends it across the first, and Simeon is out. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And we're still knotted at zero. As we go Leading to the off, last of the third, the here's Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman. And an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So no, what we're wrong. seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Right-hander kicks deals. Popped in the air. Left field. Grossman settles underneath it. One down. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Waste no time there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter. Rymel Tapia. That one's in there 0 and 1. Hernandez leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. On the ground, a short could be two. Good feed, that's one. Over to first, safe. So stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. In there for strike one. Yoshida throws right, bats left. 29 years old, and he was born in Japan. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. and misses it's a strikeout I think the key is arm action on the changeup when you can sell it like a fastball you drop the velocity you get the swing and mess and you walk off the field back here at Fenway John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Corey Seager Sale back to work. And there's the strike. Strike two. You know, Brood, every team has a hitters meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the, the baseball base. right now. Nathaniel. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Two up, two down. No, well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Now rolled bad. over on it and beat the it into the ground. Adolis. And now the right Garcia. fielder, Adolis Garcia. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. 
got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Verdugo ranging back. And it's off the wall. And that's a two out double. He was all over that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. So a man aboard, Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. One for one with a single so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. That misses the zone. Three balls, no strikes. Two outs and one in scoring position. Out to short. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Zips it across. That ends the frame. One left for Texas, and we are still scoreless. Back now at Fenway, ready to go, bottom four. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Verdugo, former second round pick by the Dodgers back in 2014 and Chris I think one of the things that people always focus on with him he was the centerpiece to that Mookie Betts trade between the Dodgers and the Red Sox nothing you can do about those as a hitter even though you know that they still drive you absolutely crazy here's Rafael Devers he's over one First pitch no. just misses. Yeah, One and ball. many people okay. would say that's a ton of pressure to go into a place like Boston with those shoes to fill. And you know what? He went in there saying he was going to be himself and put up some pretty good numbers. Popped up. Duran settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Center fielder number 16, Jaren. Now batting Jaron Duran. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. I'm just waiting for a foul ball up here. I mean, this is one of the best places to be ready and to have a foul ball opportunity. We got a great view of the action. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Righty delivers. Line drive, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a two-bagger. 
Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Base hit right field. Here comes the runner. Garcia fires it to the plate. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Well, he was trying to get his team on the scoreboard and take a lead here in this ball game. But an outstanding job by the defense. Excellent execution. A bang-bang play at the dish. And they just got him in time. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. And the batter now, Laoti Tavares. That catches the outside corner. Strike one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Okay. Looked off balance that time. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Grossman in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. That one the other way. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Man at first with one gone. Next to hit, Jonah Heim. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. First offering, and it just misses. Grossman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Snap throw to first, and he's back in easily. And the 1-0. That's towards center. Duran on a dead run headed towards the infield. Makes the grab after a long run. And there's two down. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Yo one. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Duran puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Rangers leave one. Still no score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here is Reese McGuire. The catcher. And a pitch. And that one a little bit high. You know, these Red Sox doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there. And on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a little roller right side. Low takes it himself. One up, one down. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Bobby Dahlbeck up next for the Red Sox. Fly to left his first time up. That one's in there 0 and 1. Strike two. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Oh. 
And he deals. And oh. ball one. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Hernandez in the box here lets that one go for a ball. That misses, oh, and it's 2-0. and oh. right. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. And a foul ball. The 2 2 on the way. Bounced out to short. Over to low. Red Sox go 1 2 3. Nothing doing for Boston. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Back in Boston. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one hammered left field. Verdugo going back, back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Seeger, 28 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. Seeger, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. The pitch. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. And now the lefty. That misses the zone, and it's a ball to strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Hernandez has it sized up. And that'll do it. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Here now the Red Sox DH. Rymel Tapia. DeGrom back to work. Pitch is in for a strike. 0-1. Now oh. one and one. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. Okay. 
And that just misses. It's a good take. 2-2 two -two on the way. Caught him looking for the K. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The next oh. offering misses. And the count even one and one. And that's oh, outside. Oh. That one clips the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes. And the right hander deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Righty to the plate. Spoils that one, and it remains 2 and 2. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The 2 2 now. On the ground, out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they don't get the out. And next for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. Verdugo measures six feet even, 190 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2014. And fouled off. Yoshida at first, one gone. And strike two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Tracks it down for the out. And there are two outs. Now third base. And here is Devers. Devers, the baby faced assassin. And that's in there for strike one. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. On the ground to short. Over to low. That's the inning. here in Boston top of inning number seven now it's the right fielder Adolis Garcia Garcia the wind of the pitch good eye right there you can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee he can get up in the air and untie this ball game the pitch foul ball there Next offering is foul back. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. These guys like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. 
Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young, one for two. First pitch, not close. And that's too high. And a two one on the way. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Lined in the left center, base hit. Now back, the center field, Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. Base hit, center field. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Swing and a foul straight back. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Pulls that one foul. Side gets out of the way. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. One and two now. Sail back to one. That's out to center field. Duran under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging for third. And now a wide throw to third. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. There's a line drive to left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. One runs in. Coming home. Cut off. Throw to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That does it for Chris Sale as the lefty makes way. And he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back.
So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Nick Pavetta. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Duran. Swings through that one, 0 oh and 1. Runner at second, two down. And that is cut on and missed. And that is strike two. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks them, no big deal. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Good job at damage control right there. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's 2-zip. Back after this on the show. Back here at Fenway Park, and now the center fielder, Jaron Duran. The right-hander back to work. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Woo. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Tavares makes the play. One up, one down. The batter, number two, second baseman. Justin Got Turner now. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Swing and a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. One down. Reese McGuire up next for the Red Sox. And first offering is fouled off. Turner stands at first with one out. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. Here's the 0-2. Down the line, base hit. And that one's going to get into the corner. Around second on his way to third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Bobby Dahlbeck up next for the Red Sox. And the first pitch misses for ball one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Fastball in for a strike, and the count is one and one. And he hits a ground ball right side in plenty of time to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Here's Kike Hernandez. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First pitch, and he just misses. Late with the swing there. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Two. He caught it behind his back. Throw to first, and they get the out. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there, and it stuck. That was pretty cool. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon.
pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. The why to kick the pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, the bright side is the that that will help the on-base percentage yeah, a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Hit in the air, right field. Yoshida makes the grab one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Up next for the Rangers, Nathaniel Lowe. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Throw to first, and he's back in safely. One run game, one out, one on. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And now a man into scoring position. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Foul ball still a one and two count. On a line out towards center. Makes the grab, two down. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. He gets the attention to walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Young in the box, lays off for ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. McGuire makes the grab, and that is that. So they strand a pair. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rangers two and the Red Sox one. Jose LeClaire takes over on the mound. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The pitch. Tapia, the next to hit, takes ball one. Pitch is in there. One ball, one strike. The tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings and misses, struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one, any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Yeah. 
Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Next offering is in for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the... Got him looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Rafael Devers up to hit. There's a strike. That's in there. Oh, a two down. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And now it's one and two. Strike three. Got him swinging. That's out number three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Laoti Tavares. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Pavetta, 30 years old now, and he was born in Canada. Next one misses, now 2-0. And another ball. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. That to right. Yoshida under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's one away. The left fielder, number four, Robbie. So up next. Robbie Grossman, one for three. Out to short. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Gets it to yep, first. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the, the lead. Number 28, Jonah. Two Jonah. outs, base is empty. Next up for Texas, Jonah Heim. late on that fastball not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead swing and a miss that strike two one run game here at the top of the ninth That one not close. And that is ball one. On the ground to Devers. And he'll be safe at first. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you got another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss there. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Popped up. 
Dahlbeck under this one makes the catch and that'll do it so no runs on no hits one error and a runner left five six and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth it's the Rangers back now and on the mound the closer Will Smith 32nd appearance here's the center fielder Jaron Duran corner infielders guarding the lines trying to prevent extra bases there's a strike trying to keep good speed off the bases and that one lifted in the air center field puts it away for the out well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Turner in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Tavares going after it. And there's two away. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Reese McGuire up next for the Red Sox. First offering and it just misses. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And there's a foul ball. Field base hit. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.